Welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. It's Abyss, and in this video today, I'm going to show you how to unlock the trophy slash achievement called Buckle Up. Now, in order to unlock it, you need to achieve five gold belt buckles from rewards. So these rewards are similar to what the challenges are in the single player mode, but for this one, we need to achieve five of them in order to unlock this. So the first one is easy enough. It's under general and it's reach maximum honor. If you play through all the story missions and you pick the honorable route, you will be at max honor at the very end. I did this and another buddy of mine, Jen, did this and we had no problem getting to the max honor rate. Now you do get some good money for this, so it's recommended you do this story mission along with everything else that we're about to do. So for part two, it's called survivalist, which is taste herbs. Now this is 20 different herbs. So as you're going through the story missions like I recommended, they're gonna put you in a bunch of different areas for the story missions, and you can also search these areas for these herbs. But I did give you a location starting from one side of the map all the way to the other for all 20 spots. Keep in mind, in the description below and the pinned comment, I will have timestamps for each individual part just in case you wanna to jump to any part of this video. All right, so besides what we're doing right now is going through each individual spot for these herbs, I'll be back for part three since we're covering the first one already, which is reach maximal honor. The second one is you have to eat 20 different herbs, which we're going through right now. And then I'll be back for the third one, which we have to sell three items to three different shops. All right, so here we are at number three and it's under trade and you had to sell an item to three shop types. Now there is three different ones like they're saying. One is the fence, next one is the butcher, and then the next is the doctor. 
So for the fence, I'm gonna show you a location which is the hideout right here that you can go and either kill the leader and loot them and that'll give you some items to sell to the fence and downstairs there's a couple spots you can loot for some jewelry but you know those type of items like watches bracelets jewelry those are the type of items that you can sell at the fence now for the butcher i try to sell like the pelts and stuff like that and it did not work it wouldn't count it it only counted when i sold them the cougar's fang a buddy of mine sold a bear claw and it worked i'm assuming like the antlers would work too items like that that come off of the animals pelts did not work but other items like that like i said did work all right, so the third one, the doctor. Remember all these herbs that we were picking up? All you have to do is sell in one of those herbs. And then we'll be done with part three. So I'll be back for part four. seen you before who told you about me well what you see is what you get oh you got something for me You new patient? Customers love the gum if you're in need of some energy. No getting sick if you chew too much. Take as much as you need. Well, let's see what you got. Okay, so here we are at part four, and it's under hunting, and you need to kill one flying bird with an arrow. So the one thing to note is, you need to be at rank 10 before you can buy a bow and it costs $120. So another reason why we want you to do the main story is because you're gonna be very close to rank 10 and you'll have enough money at the end to buy this bow. And it's so simple and easy to do this gold buckle. Just point your arrow. If you have auto aim on, release and you'll kill the bird and you'll be done with part four. So I'll be back for part five. Take a study. All right, so here we are at our final one, and it's under travel, and you need to ride on horseback from Valentine to Strawberry in three minutes and 30 seconds. I found this one to be easy to do simply because going from Valentine to Strawberry is not that far away. After you complete this fifth one, you will unlock the trophy slash achievement called Buckle Up. Now at the end of this trip right here, when we get to Strawberry, I will show you four additional gold buckles that you can switch out for in case that you feel like the other ones are too much to do. Two of them are some more traveling where you have to ride your horse back from another place to another. Now the third one is reach maximum dishonor, which is another easy one to do, I think. And the fourth one is under horse, where you have to achieve maximum bond level. So those four can be switched out to any other ones that you want in case the first five that I showed you aren't good enough. Also, keep in mind, remember, like I said earlier in the description below and the pinned comment, I will have timestamps for each individual section, just in case you wanna to jump to any part of this video. Now I have to give a big shout out to Jin, for basically going through and showing me the ropes with the online and we were going through each individual one of these trying to cherry pick exactly what ones are the easiest ones that we felt to do so big shout out to him for helping me out other than that if you have any questions please leave them in the comments down below if you found this video helpful make sure you support by hitting that like button and subscribing and turning on the notification bell with that being said thanks for watching and i'll see you next time
Thank <laughs> you. 